Hey everyone, in this video, I want to quickly showcase just how fast On One Photo Raw 2023 is at completing some of the most difficult tasks photographers face when they're editing. Blurring skies in older versions of Photo Raw would require modifying multiple layers and adding in filters and adjustments to each layer and then fine tuning. While in On One Photo Raw 2023, we can easily blur skies in our scene to emulate that classic long exposure look in no time at all. So inside of Photo Raw here, we have this cityscape. Let's quickly straighten and level the image out, and then we'll go in, we'll swap the sky out and blur it to ensure we have that classic long exposure look. Then we'll add in a bit of motion blur to the water to make sure everything looks nice and natural. So the first thing I want to do is just crop it. I'm going to hit C on my keyboard. I'm going to grab my leveling tool here, and I'll just drag this across the horizon line. And I can drop it, hit enter to level the photograph. Now let's just go into our sky tab here where we can swap the sky out for a bit more of an interesting one and then we can blur it up. Inside of the sky swap AI filter, it's going to use my category menu. I'm going to open up these Occidrone Bluestery Blue skies. I'm just going to choose this first one here. It's one of my favorites. You can also choose from an abundance of different ones in that sky menu there. And all I have to do to blur the sky here is just head down to the appearance section of my sky swap AI filter. I'm just going to increase that blur amount all the way. Now you can also modify the angle if you'd like, but I think for now this looks best as just at its default. So now that we've blurred the sky here, let's go ahead and let's modify the bottom section with some motion blur. So I'm just going to go into the effects tab here. I'm going to add a filter and we're gonna choose water. Then we'll just add on blur. Then we'll choose motion. And let's go down to the distance slider and let's increase this quite a bit. And with our distance modified there, we have that motion blur coming in nicely. Let's now just pull back on that smoothing slider there. And if we turn this off and on, it's doing a great job of bringing in that nice, soft, silky motion blur into our water. I'm going to apply one last filter to the water. Just hit K on my keyboard, select the water, and I'll add in a dark glow. And now that we've added in glow to our water, let's hit K on the keyboard. Let's select this region in the middle where the architecture is, and let's add in a bit of detail with a dynamic contrast filter. So now that we've modified everything individually, let's apply a filter to the entirety of the scene. Let's give it a nice black and white. And I like this more menu to choose deep blacks. It's always been one of my favorite preset styles. And if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, I'm really enjoying it. It's looking really nice and we've created that classic long exposure look in our scene. 